Welcome back to Core Cutting Today, where we break down some of the biggest stories happening in the world of core cutting, including today. Major League Baseball it rejected an offer from Amazon to move all the Valley sports games to Amazon for uh, streaming there. We'll tell you what happened there, what that means for Major League Baseball's TV contracts in the future, and why they probably turned down that offer. Also, Paramount Plus is now free to cable TV and streaming subscribers who subscribe to the Paramount Plus with Showtime channel. We'll explain what's happening there. And Sinclair is launching three new free over-the-air television channels with music, but only if you have a certain type of tuner for your TV. These stories and a whole lot more coming up in a quick second. First though, if you want to learn more about these stories, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. I'll put a link to each story there so you can read them for yourself. If you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. It really does help us and hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of television. All right, let's start off today with Major League Baseball and Bally Sports are still fighting out um, over their TV contracts. On the day I post this on January 10th, they have a court hearing to talk about TV contracts. Last month, it was broke from the Wall Street Journal that Amazon had offered $150 million to Bally Sports in exchange, the Major League Baseball games that stream through Bally Sports would stream through Amazon for Bally Sports customers. And I'm not sure the whole details weren't released there. But the New York Post, who's had some pretty good sources throughout this whole Bally Sports bankruptcy, has come out and said this deal is falling apart. Major League Baseball has rejected it. Um, it seems that Bally Sports is a little maybe concerned about tying themselves to Amazon. Under the way the proposed rules and the reported framework deal that they said they had reached to the court that they're supposed to be presenting today when this goes live, um, at the end of the 2024 season, TV rights for Bally Sports games that currently air, or Major League Baseball games that currently air on Bally Sports would return to Major League Baseball. That would allow them to go and um, resell those rights to different people. Probably something that they want to do there. They probably wanted to not tie themselves to Amazon with the hopes that maybe they'll get more money when they resell all their TV rights for those teams together. We'll see how this plays out, but uh, full coverage of courtcardsnews.com. Once we learn what happens in the court case, we'll be watching it very closely tomorrow. Also, next up, Paramount Plus. The streaming service is now free if you have a subscription to the Paramount Plus with Showtime Network. Now, this week, Showtime got renamed the TV channel, the TV networks, I should say, because there's multiple of them, got renamed to Paramount Plus with Showtime. And if you subscribe to that through your cable provider, through a streaming service like Hulu and others, you will now be able to get free Paramount Plus with this deal. Paramount Plus, uh, the streaming service, a little confusing, is different than the Paramount Plus with Showtime cable network. Now with this deal, if you subscribe through cable or uh, streaming service, you will get additional live show channels that aren't available directly through um, Showtime, uh, or Paramount Plus with Showtime, excuse me. So we'll see how this plays out. But um, right now, logins are active for um, Spectrum customers and Hulu customers, DirecTV customers say that they're coming soon. And according to help pages on the uh, Paramount Plus website, it seems to point that all cable providers and streaming providers that offer a subscription to the Paramount Plus with Showtime networks, you'll get access there. Now again, if you subscribe through those services and you get the 10 cable networks, you'll also now get free additional Paramount Plus streaming with that deal. Um, Sinclair declined to comment on our request for details about which providers would be part of this. All right, there's a new music network launching three new channels in the United States later this year. This is in partnership between Sinclair Broadcasting and Roxy. They'll be launching three interactive ATSC 3.0 next-gen television stations. These stations will allow you to watch music videos there, pause, play, skip forward and backwards. Be interesting to see how that all uh, works with this. Um, ATSC over there television does have the ability to offer on demand catalogs. Are these just on demand channels? Um, they are demonstrating them at CES. Roger is there and he's gonna try to swing by and take a look at this and see exactly what they're doing with this service. But three new channels only available on ATSC 3.0. This technology that allows you to pause, play, fast forward, back and forth is exclusive to that. A few ways they can do this. They can do this through an internet connection there, uh, but there is some on-demand capabilities. Are they bundling you know, on-demand basically feeds here, or allow you to jump between on-demand feeds of the ATSC 3.0 interface here? 
We'll have to wait and see. We're going to try to get an answer to that. But three new channels coming later this year. If you have an ATSC um, tuner, exact markets and station numbers will be announced later. They will also be launching a um, free uh, version of this streaming online. But if you're willing to pay, there will be an ad free experience if you want to pay through the streaming service directly to Roxy. So check that out um, with this. All right. Um, Next story up, the Roku Ultra and Roku Stick 4K are on sale. This is our deal of the day. $79 for a Roku Ultra, $39 for a Roku Stick 4K. If you're looking for a new streaming player to start off 2024, link in the show notes down below. All right, Amazon wants to take on AirPlay and Chromecast. These are the ways that you can take your iPad, phone, whatever, and cast videos from here to that TV back there, for example. The problem is they're both proprietary standards that are locked down, which makes it Kind of difficult. Um, Android can't cast to all um, Apple TV devices. Apple TVs can't cast to all other devices. Um, there's some cross support. There's others are not. Roku's now support, for example, um, Apple AirPlay, but they don't support Chromecast. Google TV support Chromecast, but not all of them support AirPlay. So it's really a mixture there of, um, with that. Now, Amazon has partnered with several streaming services to support this, including Pluto TV, Sling TV, and more that will allow their... Um, devices, starting with the Echo Show 15 and Fire TVs and others coming soon, to cast on a new open standard that will allow you to cast your videos from your phone or tablet to your TV in an open standard that they hope device makers will support. As of this moment, I didn't see any other device makers other than Amazon supporting this standard. We'll see how this plays out, but I really hope that an open standard takes off, that everybody just supports and adds their TVs. It would be really nice if no matter if you're an Apple or Android, you have a Fire TV, a Roku TV, a Google TV, or other device, that you'll be able to cast to all of them without problem. Hopefully that comes soon. We'll keep a close eye on this, but Amazon's hoping this new open standard will be adopted by more manufacturers, helping this become the default way people access their content when they want to cast it to music or video devices. Speaking of Amazon, Amazon's freebie, their free ad supported streaming service is adding two new free channels later this month. This includes Faithfully Funny, a collection of BBC, oops, let me go back, BBC original television sitcoms. Also a Monsters, Godzilla's and Friends, a dedicated channel to Godzilla and other monsters that have made an appearance in the Godzilla franchise. This is a little different channel than what you saw with the Godzilla channel on Pluto TV, for example. If you want to see the release dates for these and other channels that were recently added to Amazon Freebie, check out the story in the show notes down below. All right, TiVo wants to help small cable companies launch streaming services. So this week at CES, TiVo announced a new service called TiVo Broadband, which will allow small cable companies to basically take a pre-built um, app and interface preloaded with a bunch of free ad supported content and other TiVo stuff, and maybe even offer a TiVo device, they have streaming devices already to go, that they'll be able to bundle with their cable TV packages to make them streaming, much like how Spectrum and others now offer streaming versions of their cable packages. This is kind of a one-stop shop where small cable companies could quickly launch it. We'll see a lot of cable companies have been trying this, but a lot of small ones have even been shutting down their streaming services and walking away. So it's something that would have been really big maybe a few years ago, but now a lot of small cable companies don't see the need for it. We'll see how this all plays out. But uh, let me know, would you subscribe to a streaming service from a cable company? All right, some quick TV news here. Panasonic TVs now are going to be coming with Fire TVs built in. This was announced uh, this week. Um, new 2024 Panasonic TVs, which include some very high-end ones, will not come with the Fire TV OS as their default operating system. Uh, exact pricing and release dates were not announced at the time of the um, announcement, but this does include some very nice televisions with this that will be here. So, LG is also announced that they're going to add Chromecast to all their TVs, their new TVs with OLED at least, in 2024. Um, somebody commented that some Chrome or LG TVs had Chromecast built in. Let me know. Do you have one? Did you see that? I couldn't find that online, but I probably just missed it in my quick search. But LG says um, Chromecast built in is coming to more LG TVs. Also, RCA has announced they are going all in with Roku televisions and Google TVs. This includes some budget-friendly Roku televisions, uh, but also some new mini LED um, TVs here in the three to um, $750 price that will also include 
uh, Google TV ones with that. Several different options of televisions, Roku TVs and Google TVs coming there from Panasonic. All right, let's dive into the question of the day. If you ever have a question for me, leave me a comment down below and start it off with something like a question for Luke. If I don't answer your, con your question, re-ask it the next day because I probably picked another one before I saw yours. But today I was asked, question for Luke, will we see um, the shutdown of cable premium channels this year or in the near future? So premium channels like the new Paramount Plus with Showtime, um, HBO Max, or HBO, not Max, and others um, are definitely on the death watch. We saw big drops in viewership with Showtime and HBO last year. Um, Epics and others were not even measured in the variety story because they were so low. I would not be surprised of two things. Wouldn't surprise me if some of the smaller ones shut down, especially when you look at like Showtime, which has 10 channels. Now that you're getting Paramount Plus, a lot of the channels are just basically reruns of content that's on Paramount Plus. Why have them? Why not just shut those down and direct people to the Paramount Plus app? That wouldn't surprise me. But I do think in the next five years or so, it would not surprise me to even see HBO stop becoming a linear channel, just becoming a streaming category. And like at HBO Studios Inside Max, they have that right now, it's just an area of HBO Inside Max. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if that becomes the future. There is expense to running a linear channel and going all streaming means they don't have to pay for satellite feeds to broadcast this content. No one's paying to program, you know, does this movie come in at three or 6 p.m.? and other similar questions. You could really cut down on some backing costs by doing that. So the next few years, maybe sooner than we think, it would not surprise me at all to see these cable networks go away. We'll be watching this very closely, but let me know, what network do you think is most likely to shut down in 2024? Leave me a comment, let me know, I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a big favor, leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. And hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Check our videos. We post a video like this every Monday through Friday. Until next time, take care, be safe. Thank you to everybody for your support.